Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome to the discrete mathematics class, this lecture number four. So today we are going to study about sequences and series. So what is sequence and what is series? So in this chapter we will study about uh, different kind of series and sequences like arithmetic series, arithmetic mean, geometric mean, geometric series, harmonic mean, harmonic series and so on. So basically coming to sequence. So basic what is sequence? You guys know about a sequence like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten like a sequence, two, four, six, eight, it's a sequence. Like a number which is continuous but with have a same difference like if you are saying one two three four what is the difference between two number now one if you say two four six eight what is the difference between two number is two so these called uh, sequence and also called a series what is series now series again the same continuous number one two three four five two four six one three five seven nine like and so on these all called series so Now, what sequence initially? Now, first of all, we have some common concepts. So, the first is each number in the list is called term, and each term are separated by commas, like you can see in this example. Also, can finite sequence end after a certain number of terms. This is a finite sequence. Infinite sequence is one day continuously indefinitely here, yeah, indefinitely, non stop. Like you can see this one. This is infinite sequence. If you can see this one, this is finite because you know about the last term. Whenever you know about the last term, this is called finite se uh, sequence. Whenever you are not going to know about the last term, this is called infinite sequence. Like consider the following sequence like this or two sequences finite sequence and infinite sequence so the which is more important this is the first term this is will be second third fourth fifth and same here again first second third fourth and fifth so just uh, keep in mind that these kind of words or this kind of number will be used in a different kind of series so just keep in mind So now coming to the finite uh, finding the formula for the nth term of sequence it's just a general one now generally how we can find the formula for the nth term we have a sequence like you can see this form the formula for the term in a sequence can be given as a formula for the nth term so this this up to now we are talking about the general things so let's see this term find the n term of the following thing this is your sequence how you can find this uh, n term so you can know about 2 5 5 2 25 5 3 1 25 this and so on so your last term will be like you will be go 2 is constant power of s is going to increase so your n term will be nth so this is your last term again same here 3 5 7 9 and so on so your three it can be two plus one then five two plus two is second so it means what will be your last term your last term will be two with nth plus one so this is the way how you can find the formula for the n term but generally is this a general uh, formula now after that we will talk we will find out about the arithmetic and geometry how we can find the first term how we can find the n term how we can find the difference between the sequence and series so up to now just keep in mind this is the general formula so if you can see this example it said write the first six term of this function this again the general just put one two three four five and it will be a result then write the first six term of this then start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh six so means six so you, you will be moved to six term this is the general way 
up to this this is a general method so now coming to the series we studied about see, now coming to series so first of all what is series series is the sum of the term in a sequence what sum just keep in mind series is the sum so I, I will prove you now then so summation can be right you are this r mean start from r to n it may be r start from 1 to and maybe 10 up to 10 so and so on this is the method so we have a consider the following sequence we have a two sequence finite series and infinite series so finite series again the last term is noun infinite series the last term is unknown so this is the difference again the same one first term second third fourth fifth and so on so now we are going to prove that the, the series is the summation or the sum of the term and the sequence. So as you can see this example, the three i square and i start from one to five and which is the summation. So three is here, then put one first. Okay. When you put one first, it means the for the one it end up. Then you can add this is summation and then it means you can make a addition, then you can put two then end up then three four five and this is a method how you can find the series and series is the submission process again this one is for the finite again because the last term you know about the last one n is five and you know how many number is five and mean how many number in your series so it's now but if you can see this example the n term is infinite when n term is infinite it means how many number of how many number is there infinite so it, it's an infinite series so this is simple method up to now then finite series and after a certain number of term infinite series is one that continuously indefinitely yeah indefinitely so you can so this is the example of a series like this is your question so m square is start from 2 to n so it means you can put 2 then plus then 3 then plus 4 and so this is your answer again this is again the series formula just put the number m start from 1 so 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 0 again so just simply put out up to k term k term is again is unknown again you can come to this one 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus so how you can find the submission so if you can see 4 multiply 1 4 4 multiply 2 8 and so on so when 4 multiply 25 to make 100 so you can say all these term 1 2 3 4 so 4 multiply with this term it means 4 i and i start from 1 to 25 again the same one 1 plus 1 divided by 2 2 divided by 3 3 divided by 4 and so on so 1 2 3 4 in division we can say 1 plus 1 1 plus 2 1 plus 3 what is going to change this number is going to change so if you can say i is 1 2 3 4 so the above one is i because 1 2 3 4 and this is an infinite series so just this is a formula i start from 1 2 3 make an addition then i 1 it will be 2 3 and so on so up to now this is the general method This is another example. This is your example. Just put out the values 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 up to 10, and this will be answer. This is stored from uh, 1 to 5. So just put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you will get your answer. So it's very simple up to now. So now coming to the our main topic arithmetic sequence and series. So what is the concept behind the arithmetic sequence and series so keep in mind the difference between the consecutive term is same and let's see we have one two three four five six and so on like you can comma so you can see the difference now difference between two consecutive this is two consecutive then this is two consecutive this is two consecutive this is two consecutive. so two and you can say a1 a2 a3 and so on so we can say that a2 minus a1 okay so you can see 2 minus 1 1 okay if you can see another difference 
a3 minus a2 a3 minus a2 so again 3 minus 2 the result is 1 so the difference between a two consecutive number is same so whenever you are watching you are looking for a sequence or for a series that there is a same difference between each two consecutive number that's called automatic series or automatic sequence so the difference between consecutive term is the same so you can see the same that the difference is called a common difference is simple so coming to example now like you can see 2 4 10 14 so again this is a1 this is your a2 this is your a3 this is your a4 so just fi find out the consecutive difference so find out the consecutive between 6 is 2 now again find out the consecutive 4 again is 4 so mean the common difference between each two consecutive number is same so this kind of keep in mind this kind of series is called arithmetic series or arithmetic sequence keep in mind that the common difference will always be the same so now coming to the formula for the interim or the formula for the sequence common sequence or uh, automatic sequence or automatic series so you can see this formula we can also write like that that a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d in most book you can find this formula that's why i write this 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 tn is called an just simple so this is your a1 basically a1 is your first room this your d is a common different and this is n what is n total number of term which is available in a series so just keep in mind this formula whenever you know about this formula so the question of arithmetic sequence and series is just simple like game you can just play a game with them so you can see now 32 47 67 this is your arithmetic sequence now so find the tenth term which one tenth you need to find tenth term mean how many n is you have ten how many n ten so you need to find a tenth term a ten so first of all you can see the sequence you can look the sequence that is this sequence uh, is a uh, automatic so just find out the difference so the difference is the same 15 for each one is the 15 so 8 is 15 so you will have a same difference when the difference is the same that this is called a automatic sequence so what is your first term a1 32 so how many n you have i told you 10 what what's the difference in d so you can easily find a n term a1 plus n minus 1 into d so a1 is 32 n is equal to n is 10 minus 1 d is 32 just find out you will get this result so this is a simple method now you can watch so how you can play with the, this game so maybe you will have somebody will tell you to find the n somebody will totally find the d and so on this is just like a game So now coming to another example, what find the number of a term? What he said it find the number of term. What is n now? Okay, and arithmetic sequences is it saying that it's arithmetic? It's okay. Whenever somebody saying that it's arithmetic series, that it means it's arithmetic series. But someone is going to say find the arithmetic series. Then you will find the each two consecutive term difference when the difference time it means it's a arithmetic series so now you have this term okay and we have a formula a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d this formula this and both are the same but just simply this is one okay so you have one a 1 yeah we have a 1 so first of all just like this way find out the difference minus 3 the difference a1 is a 50 okay so we have this formula this formula just you know about t and you know about last term now a n term what is a n minus 34 okay so just put out the n term you know about this one you need to find n you know about 3 just put out your result will be this and this is your n so this is a game now i told you this 
these and uh, this topic you are talking about you are uh, studying about it's just like a game just play with it you all get the points so up to now we studied about a sequence now we are going to study about arithmetic series so one thing you need to uh, keep in mind series is the sum of a sequences when you are going to add number of a sequence this sequence will make a series so formula for the sum of an arithmetic series so again keep in mind so this is first term a1 so you can use this formula and you can also use this formula both are the same so sn is equal to n by 2 into a1 plus 1 you can use this as well n by 2 2 a1 plus n minus 1 into d so both are the same so what but it's uh, it's depend on the question in some in some question you don't have it uh, like uh, you have a d you have a n and you need to find this term so it's up to question what in what kind of a question which equation is going to be used so need to be fine so this is keep in mind this is the last term and you can also use this one like a1 it was a1 another is a n you can keep in mind you can use this a n as well okay it's not a big deal so coming to example now determine the sum of the first 25 term how many ends 25 of the thematic series so this is your thematic series find out the, what is the d so if you are going to find the d d is minus 2 how many and 25 what is your a1 20 so your formula is for 25 because you need to find the summation of 25 so you have a formula n by 2 okay 2 a1 plus n minus 1 into d so you can if you can see this question you are not going to use this formula because this is the last term a n th, and you don't have a last term here so if you don't have a last term so it means it will be unknown and it is unknown so when in a single equation two term is unknown so we cannot find the equation we cannot solve the equation so that's why these two formula are depend on the questions okay keep in mind So now coming to the example, determine the sum of the arithmetic series. What arithmetic series? You need to find this term. Like Sn is equal to n by 2 into a1 plus a n. This this formula and the previous one are both of the same, but just I'm just because of writing a n, you know about a n so in this question in this one you need n and so we don't have a n now here so okay we have our a1 we have a n but we don't have n so we need to find n first so this is comma basically this is all commas so what is a1 2 so what is d 5 7 minus 2 yeah 12 minus 7 and so on so the difference seems it's called a magic sequence so find out you need to use the formula a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d so both are the same formula just put the values you will get the and when you are get so you need to formula use this formula so this is your a 1 this is your a n this is your n so your sum of the sequence will be 6 3 2 so if you add all of them so you will have a 6 3 2 the result will be 6 3 2 hope you guys are getting the uh, concept of the uh, sequence and series up to now so coming to exercise the question one is find the 22 term of the thematic se sequence with the first two and the, with the first two and the common difference is seven and so the first term is 2 and the common difference is 7 so you have a1 and you have d so you need to find 
23rd term you have a formula a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d so you have a d okay and you have a 2 and find the 23rd term mean you n is equal to 23 so you need to find that 23rd term so a 20 a 1 is 2 plus 23 minus 1 and d is 7 so you will get a, a 23rd term so simple as that then again find the sum of the five first five term of the arithmetic sequence with the first term is first term is 3 so a 1 is 3 common difference is 5 so what you are going to find find the find the sum of the first five term so first five term again the same formula again first a1 then a2 then a3 then a4 then a5 okay so first five term in your n will be 5 okay okay so when you are going so uh, your n will be chain now so first you are going to find for the one so n you will be one if you are going to find a2 your n will be two if you are going for three four and five so it's uh, simple again there's another write down the 10th and 19th term of arithmetic so you have a1 you have the d so same formula so you need to 10th so n will be 10th a1 is here d is here and your n will be when you are going to find the 10th term it means your n will be 10th when you are going to find 19 sure your n will be 19 and so on so and now another example in arithmetic sequence given by this your sequence so state the sixth term again the same formula you have a1 you have d so need to find the sixth term so n will be six so you can simply find the a sixth term state the kit term kit term mean your n is k well, just simple just find the equation nothing else this is your equation uh, if the uh, if the twist term has a value of 15 so your n is 20 find the b so you have a <coughs> n 20 and you have a a 20 as well and a 20 is 15 so you have a formula so you can put a 20 value here n will be here and you have a difference here so just find out the value of b okay so this is very simple hope you guys can be solve that with the using a equation so this is a simple applications problem so you just read it and get your uh, aim or concept from it another application where you can use automatic uh, series and sequence so coming to one another thing uh, we call that automatic mean we call that automatic mean so this is one another concept automatic mean when were you are adding two term and divide by two let's see we have a plus b divided by two this is called automatic mean let's see your a is like 2 and b is 4 so find the arithmetic mean so your arithmetic mean will be a plus b divided by 2 so 2 plus 4 divided by 2 the result will be 3 so this is a formula for arithmetic mean whenever you how you can find the arithmetic mean so a plus b divided by 2 this is a simple one so this was a uh, uh, three thing we study here arithmetic mean arithmetic series automatic sequence sum of automatic series find the first second third or n term of automatic series and so on so keep in mind these three term because you will you guys will be face this kind of a question in a practice as well so now coming to the uh, geometric sequence and geometric series so we have we studied about automatic now geometric so the first uh, I think we need to study about geometric geometric mean what is geometric mean so what is geometric mean so formula for geometric mean is this is a simple again we have a two term so make it this is a form under root a and b like 
you have a is equal to 2 b is equal to 4 so like a is a, so let's see a is 2 and b is a 2 so your geometric mean will be under root 2 multiplied 2 is 4 so your result will be 2 so this is geometric mean so keep in mind so now coming to uh, geometric sequence and geometric series so in arithmetic series or arithmetic sequence we studied about and common difference we studied about common difference so in a geometric sequence and series we are study about a ratio we are study about a ratio so one another is just difference between geometric and arithmetic in arithmetic we was talking about like addition or multiplication kind of thing uh, or in but especially in like addition if you can say addition so in a geometric we are talking about uh, division you're talking about division so how we will see now so first you need to about need to know about ratio r and r is always equal to a2 divided by a1 r a3 divided by a2 and so on so it means bigger number then one less than bigger number one less than bigger number one less than once the ratio of all consecutive number and the ratio of all consecutive number will be the same so the ratio will the ratio is same it means that's called geometric sequence in arithmetic keep in mind in arithmetic we was talking about common difference but here we are talking about common ratio you know about the ratio ratio mean taking a division so the ratio between consecutive term is same and this ratio is called common ratio is principle like see we have example this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 this is a4 need to find a ratio now so you know about the formula now a2 divided by a1 or a3 divided by uh, a2 and so on so a2 divided by a1 minus 2 so a3 divided by a1 minus 2 a4 divided by a3 minus 2 it means ratio is same so this is called geometric sequence okay so in arithmetic we was talking about common difference in a geometric series or a sequence you are talking about common ratio so now coming to the formula for the geometric sequence so you can use this term again a n is equal to a 1 r n minus 1 r again same again t n replaced by a n and this a will be your first room so this is the formula for it so now coming to example determine the eight term how many eight so how much your n is eight of the geometric sequence we have a sequence now 4 12 36 and so on so first of all you need to find the ratio is this is a geometric or not so when this is the common ratio will be here the same ratio will be here it means the uh, geometric so r will be here a will be here so this is t and r a n both are the same put the values and you will have a geometric uh, sequence and the a term of a geometric sequence so you just, you just simply find the a term of so now coming to the geometric series so we studied about geometric sequence and you know about the geometric sequence formula which is a n is equal to a 1 uh, or raised to power n minus 1 so coming to geometric series so again geometric series a series is sum of the sequence again so we have a two different formulas for the geometric series because of common ratio 
whenever your ratio is less than 1 so you need to find uh, this formula whenever your ratio is greater than 1 so you need to find uh, this formula both are the same but whenever you are uh, uh, putting the values of all so the value will come to the negative so that's why uh, we are uh, separating the two formulas for the on the basis of common ratio so again s is sum is equal to a1 into 1 minus r rest for n divide 1 minus r again sum is will be equal to a1 into r rest for n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so formula is same just some uh, uh, shuffling in the uh, term so this is a geometric series so you study about geometric sequence now you are studying about geometric series so this is your formula determine the sum of the 10th term of the geometric series again which term 10th so n will be 10 so from a question you are getting all of your point and your sequence is here 4 2 1 so you need to find r first so r is 1 by uh, 1 over 2 so it's less than 1 and your n is 10 so you are, you need to find the uh, s 10 now so we have a formula just simply put your uh, now a term in a formula and you will get the answer so so this is another example determine the sum of the 20 term of the geometric and you have this one it can be plus it can be commas so so your a1 your a1 i your first term is 3 your r is say, uh, 2 because you need to find a common ratio so you will so your ratio is greater than 1 so you need to f use this formula and you will get your 20 term so n is here a1 is here r is here so it's so easy now So now one another uh, formula for the geometric uh, series is whenever you have an infinite geometric series infinite geometric series so for infinite geometric series you need to use this formula this so sum of infinity will be equal to a1 divided by 1 minus r and your r will be in between this one so let's see the example now determine the sum of the infinite geometric series whenever you are uh, looking that this is the infinite rule so you need to use this formula otherwise you cannot use it so sum of the infinite geometric series with the first term is 3 a1 is 3 and the common ratio is 1 so simply you are going to have infinite so first is here ratio is here so here uh, summation of infinite geometric series will be 6 just simple very very simple but just you need to keep and memorize the formula where you are going to use which formula okay so again exercise find the seventh term of the geometric sequence with the first term is 2 and the common ratio is simple one Find the sum of first five of the geometric sigma with the first term is three and the common ratio is two. Again, the same. So and so on. All these examples you have uh, seen here. So try to uh, practice it and it will help you for you. So uh, up to now, we study about uh, three different things like we study about sequence and series. First, what is sequence and series? Then we are studying about automatic sequence automatic series and automatic mean okay then after that we studied about geometric mean geometric sequence and geometric series but in a geometric series we have a different formula when ratio is less than one when ratio is greater than one when a sequence is infinite so we had a three different formula so just keep in mind the formulas in your Consider that every kind of a question will be easy in a sequence in a series chapter. Okay. So now coming to the uh, another example, but it's just a little bit uh, tricky. So it's saying that that a geometric sequence 
has a first term is 1 first term is 1 this is your first term the ninth term exceed the fifth term by value of 240 what does it mean let a ninth term a ninth exceed the fifth term with the term of 240 means the difference between a two it's just like a so you can find now easily a ninth but you can see what sequence is geometric so you need to use the ratio one so a9 is equal to a1 or n minus 1 so it will be or 8 so a9 will be or 8 a5 will be this one okay just keep so now a9 is equal to or 8 this will be or 4 and 240 so you can be you that or 8 will be replaced by this kind of equation so x square minus x and this is your consideration how you are going to consider it to make a equation so whenever you have a, this equation make it factorization when this factorization you have a two term so then you know about x x was supposition so what is so it will be your answer this is so easy matter so you can easily find a8 or a9 what kind of what whatever you want a number so this is the way how you are going to be fine this is a bit of a tricky so it make it practice a lot about around this kind of a question so this is another example a geometric series as a s3 y around about this one and also solve each and single step is solved here so just keep in mind make a step try to practice it and got your actual way of uh, understanding the question so in a chapter of uh, sequence and series uh, we studied about automatic and geometric and the kind of automatic and geometric series and formula and their application where we are going where we need to use it uh, how we can use it so hope this lecture will help you and find a good for you as well so you can see this example for uh, arithmetic mean so this is some of example hope it will help you so this is another example if you can see a3 is equal to a1 plus 2d so it mean n was 3 so it mean a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d so n was 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so that's why this can be a true so don't confuse yourself how a3 is equal to 2d this is from a formula and this is another example of automatic so now this is the uh, some example of uh, automatic sequence so a1 everything is available just use the formula a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d so just uh, try to uh, solve it hope this will help for you so some another example some other example as well so this is some another example for the summation of a thematic series it can be uh, solve it it's already solved here which is make your practices some other example as well so this is also example this example I just show you because if you are practice it, it will help you and it is so easy uh, mm, questions but just a little bit tricky with that like I told you before it's a game of so you can play with it you can know about each and single thing so you can also be uh, see this example so now you can see some example of geometric sequence and some other example of geometric sequence just with the ratio and some other example for you guys as well this is some example of geometric mean 
now you can find a geometric mean so this way if you can see the example automatic mean is always greater than the geometric mean so this is a proof how it will be and this is also a sum equation or some question for a summation of a geometric series and we where our ratio common ratio or will be less than or greater than one so which equation will be used so can you can see this example as well so another examples hmm, you guys can be look at it here 